Hey, welcome back. Van here. Today we're going to talk about alkalinity in your pool and how important alkalinity is to be balanced in your pool. I'm going to show you a trick to bring your alkalinity up without raising your pH. If you're new to my channel, my channel is all about saving you time and money with my how-tos and reviews. Hope you can hear me over top of this lawnmower in the background. So when I open up the pool, I got my pH up where it needs to be. I did use some baking soda. Baking soda is to maintain but I, my pH was very little bit out of whack. I got it up to a 7.2 with baking soda, and I just cast it out into the water, but my alkalinity was still a 50. So I needed to get my al alkalinity up to 100 to 140. For a plaster or concrete pool, it's 80 to 120. So this right here will raise it up. Let me read you this, directions for use. Add alkalinity plus directly to pool water with a pump running, add three pounds of alkalinity plus. For 10,000 gallons of pool water to raise it 20 parts per million. So I added this to my pool. I got my pool water back up to 100. Actually, it's at 110 right now. So all I did was add this to my skimmer with the pump running. It was on recirculate so that it get, doesn't go through the filter, the sand filter. So it's coming out of both jets and the slide. That's why I added it to my pool. But you can add it. You can just sprinkle it out there in the deep end if you want to. Bring it up. But let your pool run for a little bit and then check it. And if your pool's small or if you're not sure, use a little bit at a time. If you can't weigh this out and put it in your pool, use a little bit at a time. Let it run for a few hours and check it again. But your pH shouldn't go up any at all with using this product. So that's how you raise your alkalinity in your pool without raising your pH. If you wanna see how to check your alkalinity in your pool using a liquid test kit, I'm gonna show you right now. This is a pool style test kit. Comes with everything you need to check your acid demand, alkalinity, pH, and chlorine. That's all you need, this right here. If you wanna get one of those, I'll leave a link in the description box down below. You can go to Amazon and pick you one up. And also, if you need to get you some alkalinity plus, I'll leave a link to that in the description box as well. You can pick that up on Amazon, they'll ship it to your house. If you had a pool store, go pick it up. It was $21.99, but I'm telling you, the $21.99 you spend on that is way less than what you're gonna spend if you add baking soda and get your pH too high because then you're gonna to have to go and get some pH down. You gotta spend one more money on that. So just go ahead and pick that up and raise your alkalinity. So you wanna get 25 milliliters of water in your sample. Uh, you got a alkalinity 10, shake it up for two drops. One, two, swirl it. Five drops of alkalinity 20. One, two, three, four, five. It even tells you what to do on the side of the bottle. Swirl it. Alkalinity 30. I already know that my alkalinity is 110. So I'm gonna add five, six, seven, eight, nine. Swirl it. 10. Yeah, I think I added too many drops, but my I've already checked my alkalinity is 110. That's at 100, uh, but I think I accidentally put a couple more drops in than what I should have. While I'm talking, I got a little distracted. So, that's how you check it with that. It's really easy. This is more accurate than any kind of test strips you're gonna use, I'm telling you. Now that I'm through with the video, they're through cutting grass. So thanks for stopping by, thanks for watching. If this video has helped you out in any kind of way, give me a big thumbs up. Share it with your friends that's got a pool. If you don't have, if you don't have a pool, share it with your friends that's got one. Y'all, thanks for stopping by. Thanks for watching. You have a good one now. You come back.